I think I have about 4,000 collages. I have three tables I can work on. So if this table sort of gets cluttered, I can go over there and start working on something else. Sometimes uh, I draw on it. Sometimes I just have you know, sort of a pile of stuff that I've collected. I don't know how long I've had this, you know, but at some point it's going to find its way. I throw things into envelopes and sometimes I have it for 10 or 15 years before I actually use it. It's a nice, quiet, spacious uh, place to work. I'm going to do things here that uh, I can't do in the office. And the office environment is such that when I'm there, I'm working on things related to, to what we're doing and working with other people. Here I can come sit by myself and spend the day doing collages, and it's great. Gary Lichtenstein, the printer, said, well, you should come out to Jersey City and look at the space there, uh, which I did. And I said, this is so much better than what we had, and so much more room that uh, we decided this is where we would move everything. We like to invite students to come here uh, to see it and make use of the library, uh, which is over there. You know, make it a, a resource center. There's a lot to see here, and there's a lot going on here. So it, it's part of a community, you know, uh, and, and that's great. In my library, I have some books that I've had for many, many years from the Gizmarski Gallery. I have one on Milovich, I have one on Russian constructivists, you know, uh, I mean, really amazing books that they did years and years ago. It was really uh, Isabel and uh, her family that sort of convinced me to exhibit them. We were talking, you know, during the conversation that came out that I made collage, and they said, oh, we'd love to see them. And I said, so they, they came to the apartment, and I showed, showed them. They said, oh, it's wonderful. Can, can we show them? And that's how it all began. You know, having the show in Russia is important to me because, you know, I keep doing them and, it, you know, it's nice to share them, you know, with other people. When I work on a collage, I'm not thinking about architecture. I'm thinking about the images that are in front of you. It's, you know, there's spatial relationships, but other than that, two totally different things. When I was traveling a lot, you know, you collect a lot of bits and pieces of paper. So it became like a, a journal of where I'd been, what, you know, who I was, came in contact with. Then it sort of went into a different direction where I just, you know, did them for their own sake, not to memorialize a, an event. You can't get away from Picasso, no matter what you do. I mean, no, no, Picasso keeps showing up, up in, in different collages and, uh, I look at Picasso all the time. I mean, I look at the work of Picasso. It's just it's amazing. Picasso said, art is, isn't interesting unless it has some sexual connotation. So, I've taken it literally. <laughs>